An apparently normal day at Eastside Lutheran in Hobart. But thanks to COVID-19, things aren't as rosy as they appear. But we're a little bit decimated at the moment. We've um, got about half of our staff who've been affected by COVID. 14 of the school's 30 teachers are off due to exposure to the virus, making normal schooling impossible. In the primary school, what we've had to do is um, some classes have been mixed with other classes. Um, in the high school, we've actually had to collapse, uh, say, 50 students into one class. The number of weekly infections in Tasmania is continuing to climb, from 2,712 to 3,957 in the latest reporting period. At times like this, there would normally be a pool of relief teachers for Eastside Lutheran to draw on. There is nobody. <laughs> there is nobody. For Salamanca stall holders like Emma Hope, who recently contracted COVID, help is even harder to find. We don't have those, those casual staff that we can sub in, so it's a matter of missing markets. And in the midst of the crucial Christmas period, the timing couldn't be worse. It is a, a matter of missing a whole week's wages if you do have to miss a market. The Tasmanian government says it's in the process of winding back some of its pandemic measures. State-run PCR testing clinics like this one will be packed up by the end of January, something the health department has cautioned against should case numbers remain high. We're in a situation now where our community is living with COVID. We continue to follow uh, the public health advice. Living with COVID, a better prospect for some than others. Will Murray, ABC News.